Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Gentili, and these are some tips for suicide prevention. Approximately 1 million people die each year from suicide. What drives a person to take their own life? A suicidal person is in so much pain that they can see no other option. Suicide is a desperate attempt to escape suffering that has become unbearable. Most suicidal people are deeply conflicted about ending their own lives. They just can't see an alternative. There are many myths related to suicide. Myth, anyone who tries to kill themselves must have mental illness. In fact, most suicidal people do not have severe mental illness. Most are upset, grief-stricken, or depressed. Myth, people who die by suicide are people who were unwilling to seek help. In fact, more than 50% of suicide victims sought medical help in the previous six months. One of the most common myths Talking about suicide may put the idea into someone's head. In fact, the opposite is true. Talking openly and honestly about suicidal thoughts and feelings can help save a life. People with disabilities, families, DSPs, SSAs, coworkers, and everyone else in our communities can benefit from some additional connection and support right now. Checking in with someone is as easy as one, two, three. Number one, make contact. Instead of saying, how are you? Here are two ways to start a conversation about suicide. I've been really concerned about you lately. Or, I wanted to check in with you because it seems like you're really struggling right now. Number two, ask questions. What do you need to do to feel safe? Or, how can I support you right now? Number three, things you can say that will really help. You are not alone in this. I'm here for you. Or. You may not believe it now, but the way you're feeling will change. Or, I may not be able to understand exactly how you feel, but I care about you and I want to help. In addition, here are some things you can do. Be yourself. Finding the right words is not nearly as important as showing your concern. Listen, let the person vent. No matter how negative the conversation seems, the fact that it's taking place is a positive sign. Share resources cdc.gov, dodd.ohio.gov, or Get Help Now on the Mental Health and Addiction Services website. And finally, offer hope. Reassure your loved one that help is available and that the suicidal feelings are temporary. If you know someone in crisis, call 1-800-273-TALK. The crisis text line is another resource available 24-7. Text HOME, H-O-M-E, to 741741. If you are struggling right now, you are important to many people. Please reach out for help. If you know someone who may be contemplating suicide, you can save a life today. I'm Dr. Gentili, and these are suicide prevention tips. Thank you for listening.